Hello, it's Dr. Chase Lay, just uh, here in my now dormant operating room. I uh, haven't used this place really much at all for a little over a year. Uh, the stroke was June 9th last year while scuba diving in Belize. Um, if you're going to have a stroke, it's probably not all that bad a place to have one. It was really beautiful and I thought the medical care was really excellent. But anyways, I was just in the office over the last few weeks uh, trying to come in and get used to being in this environment again and uh, had some time to reflect and it was it's really wild how much time has passed and how many people I've operated on. Um, you know, some of my past patients now are becoming colleagues. Um, Paige, one of the nurses that I work with, one of my coworkers here, we operated on her eyes two or three years ago, maybe four years ago, I don't quite recall, but now she's a wonderful nurse and aesthetic injector and skincare professional and just very passionate about our work and I just feel really lucky. It's just that I get to work with someone like her and it's touching to think about that the fact that she, you know I first met her as a patient just a few years ago and then I have another colleague who is uh, going to be completing a fellowship post ophthalmology residency uh, Dr. Christine Wong. I operated on her ages ago before she started medical school. I mean, she was just a kid and, you know, now we're friends and again, like I said, soon to be colleagues and it's really been wonderful. Just so many, that's that's the thing I miss the most is, is the patients and the people. Like I, the patients are awake for eyelid surgery if you weren't aware. And, you know, they're laying here on this table and it's me and one or two of my surgical assistants and so many really, Funny stories have been shared, touching stories, emotional stories, and it's been really memorable. And uh, I miss that part, but uh, I'm very fortunate to still be here and uh, working with some of my past patients now and now having some of them as friends. I, another patient who I hadn't seen in, God, it's like a decade when she was just starting college or maybe in her first or second year of college. Just such a warm, beautiful person, and it was so nice to see her. And those are the things that I really remember and I miss, just getting to know all these really great people. So, you know, I'm looking forward to hopefully returning to surgery. Like I said, I, I don't think it'll be the way that, it, I, uh, I'm not gonna be doing the surgeries that I did before. Um, I'm enjoying educating, teaching now, and looking forward to getting more into that and also into peptides and wellness medicine, which I think are actually really changing uh, the landscape of medicine. It, the things that most of us medical professionals, MDs, nurses, and, and PAs, the basic science that we've forgotten from college, from graduate school, medical school, it's, it's it's wild to find out how much information, very important information was out there that we used to know, uh, that we were supposed to utilize and we just simply have forgotten it. So looking forward to teaching and also getting deep into the basic science of medicine. So, but uh, anyhow, I miss you guys. So got to get back to work and stay working because, you know, I may be gone tomorrow. So let's do this today. I'm looking forward to getting back into work and you know getting back on the horse and it's it's like exercise you know it, it, it I'm looking forward to coming back into the office regularly and seeing patients again practicing whatever version of medicine I think uh, suits me best and I can serve people best you know I may be gone tomorrow so let's do this today <laughs>